Hello, Cancer. Welcome to 811 Moon. Thank you so much if you are a returning subscriber because I am floored with the amount of love I've been getting from the community on YouTube. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate each and every one of you and I really, truly hope from the bottom of my heart that these messages, messages that you're hearing are useful for you and you can utilize them in your daily life. So right now we're doing a Cancer mid-October reading. And if you're new here, welcome. Let's see what the collective has going on for Cancer. So Cancer, let's see. Oh, one flipped. Nine of Wands. Judgment. Okay. Let's see what else we got for Cancer. Let's, oh, we got a few. Let's see what we got here. Hold on. A few fell out. A few fell out. They're jumping today. They're jumping. So we got the Queen of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles. We've got Pentacles. Okay, Cancer. So what I'm seeing for you is that you are working on something that... Let me see here. You're working on something that has a big significance in your life. This is not a small thing you're working on, whether it is in relate to your job, career, or a personal project. It is pretty significant for you. It's big, and I feel it is in the realm of career and job and stability. You know, you're trying to build up stability. Maybe you're doing investments. Maybe you start a new, uh, a new career, a new job, new, new business. And this is a big change for you. I feel as though this is a major shift in your life. I'm getting a message uh, about listening to other people that you need to go your own way. I feel like Fleetwood Mac song, go your own way. <laughs> that you should... Yeah, the message I'm getting is that you're going to get people, I feel, that are going to be on the negative side or judgmental side or want to put in their two cents and this is your thing that you have to do so if someone is not related to it or it's not a partner situation with this career business job project you need to follow your your own heart and go your own way because I mean we we all know that everybody's got an opinion about everything we do right everybody who doesn't walk in our shoes thinks that they can make judgment calls on us and what the message is I'm getting really strongly is to trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust your gut and know that this is part of your journey. That's part of the message. So take it where it resonates. I'm not sure who that was meant for. It was meant for somebody. So let's see if we can continue with the reading and get some more information. So I feel like a new reading is coming in. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry. I feel like a new reading is coming in now. But it has to do with you and your value of your self-cancer. How you value yourself. And it's triple important right now, especially with Mercury retrograde and especially with the tough 2020 year we've had, for you to stand tall in your ideas. And like I said, you know, even in the beginning part of the reading, you're going to get pushback from people and that's okay. And, you know, you shouldn't dismiss absolutely everybody. I'm hearing that too, but take it, take the advice. If it's a place of, if you feel like the advice you're going to get is from a place of love, then go with that. But if you think the advice you're getting is from a place of selfishness, you you know on their part then you need to take it with a grain of salt and decide what is useful for you i feel like this is part of your journey cancer is for you to sift through people in your life that are are speaking out of love and or speaking out of selfishness or jealousy or um projecting wow this is a deep reading i don't know where this is going projecting themselves as that they feel you should um, not take it to the next level. 
when you know you should. Wow, take it where it resonates. I'm not even pulling cards here and that's all like coming to me. So somebody's coming through really strongly right, right now. So if you're a Cancer and this is truly resonating with you, like on a, like you feel like I'm talking directly to you, please leave a comment down below. And if you're uncomfortable at leaving a comment, please leave a thumbs up emoji, a thumbs up emoji for me so I know that you got this message because this is a powerful message for you. It's, it's very strong. Wow, Cancer. And I wish you the best on this. This is, this is beautiful. I, I can see it as beauty and peace and giving you a new, a new start in your life almost. Let me see what's on the bottom here. Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is on the bottom. So that's like work and moving forward and see how this guy's doing it on all himself. Like he's got his stuff over here that he's made and he's making another one. And the eight is abundance. I, I really feel, Cancer, you've got a lot of abundance coming if you follow your intuition and your heart. You're gonna have you're gonna have bumps along the way with this five. With this five, you're gonna have bumps with this queen, with the seven. The bumps are gonna be, you know, you might, you might it might not happen as fast as you wanted. It might be that, you know, you run into a, an issue with funding this project if it requires money, or if it's something in a personal of a personal nature, you might run into just like this, I feel like a, a a soul starving thing where you're like, I, I, I got to push through this. You're going to have to push through. I feel like you're going to have to push through, through everybody with this judgment card. Um, this is you at the top here, Cancer, with your horn and, and kind of going over everybody else that's, that's down here, casting out their judgment on you. You might need some grounding too, Cancer. You might think about taking a day trip this fall to uh, the country if you live in the city or if you live in the country, maybe head to the mountains or something. I feel like grounding is necessary to, to clear your head so you can think straight about what you want to do with this project, career, job, whatever it is, business. Wow, that was a mouthful. Okay, <laughs> and we're back. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's see if I can um, get a, I know there was another message coming through, but that one was so strong that it, it overshadowed. So let me put this here and let's see if we can get um, more information for the Cancer Collective. I feel like there's another message here for somebody. Uh, the world. Okay, world and judgment. We've got cycles ending, new beginnings, things coming to an end in a very positive way. This is this is you leveling up, Cancer. You, you're you are leveling up in your life, and it is time to take a stand. And when, every time I get this card, this Nine of Wands, this guy is just so gorgeous on this card. He is just so powerful and strong. And build up that resilience that you need, Cancer, to overcome the difficultness of people saying stuff to you. That's hard because, I mean, cancer is a water sign. You want, you know, you guys are a water sign. You're emotional, which is fabulous. That overshadows, like, you feel empathetic to people. So then you feel like you need to help them when you're not helping yourself. So you need to help just you right now uh, other than, you know, general whatever you do to help people on a daily basis. But don't let anybody steal your energy, steal your joy, steal your thunder of what you're doing. Well, that message just keeps coming through. Do we have anything else for cancer? Oh, we got the two of cups and the four of swords. This is a separate message for some other cancerians. It could, it could apply to you. We've got a lot of balance here. We've got the two of cups. We've got the four of swords. There's love here. There's love. And the chariot. Okay, so this part of the reading... I feel like I need to separate all this. Hold on, guys. Hold on. All right, let's put these aside here. I feel like this is... You've, you've got the... Hold them up. The Two of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the, and the Chariot. Moving forward after 
a time of rest. So if you have just, if you're just getting out of a relationship, Cancer, this is your message. If you're just getting out of a relationship and this is kind of separate, it could be related to this part too. But if you're just getting out of a relationship, it's a, it's a good thing to it's a good thing to take a rest after before you maybe accept any offers from anyone else for a, a serious commitment. You know, if you want to date, if you want to do whatever, it, it seems like it's a time for you to rest though and then move forward. Can we get a clarification on the two, the four on the chariot, please? Clarification on the two and the four on the chariot. Yeah, look at that two of wands. So that is saying, it's obviously your choice, but I feel like some of you are gonna be getting an offer for another commitment after you've just gotten out of another relationship. You should probably be resting instead of the emotional toll that goes like, yes, it's great. This person is going to offer you a lot. But here comes the second wand. And what that requires is a lot of your energy. So I feel as though you're going to have an energy drain from taking on another relationship so quickly after the other one. So take it where it resonates. If that applies to you, I, I feel like this is a very separate, powerful message to someone who needs to hear it. But, you know, obviously, always your choice. We all have free will. We all have the choice to make our own decisions. And that's what you have to remember, too, to the first group, the first reading on whatever your endeavor is, your project, your career, your business. You know, we have free will. We have choice. And you can choose to accept someone's um, advice. But, all, you know, also remember that will be part of the lesson that goes along with it. So take it where it resonates. I, I think it... For the first group to be cautious of anything that you're doing that relates to other people and people's judgment. And the second group is be cautious of someone else coming in and offering you an, another commitment very quickly after you've been in a relationship. And it could be, yes, it seems great. It seems like you're really into it, but take it slowly because that's gonna be a huge energy drain. Because you're already, you haven't, you haven't healed from the last relationship. I guess that's the message. Heal from the last relationship before you can make a strong commitment to this new person. That's most likely coming in. Cancer, this is a beautiful reading. I wish you the best. I know you can do it, Cancer. You have it in you. You are a strong person and you bring a lot of love into this world, Cancer. And we all appreciate our Cancers. And thank you so much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up if this resonated with you. And if you are new to the 811 moon, please click the subscribe, click the like down below, and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so much, Cancer, and I wish you the best. Bye-bye.